Alright, so welcome back to Deliver Coding. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to build a simple login UI back here. So as you can see, when you refresh this page, you can see that we have some nice animations at the background that rotate this cut. And this is fully responsive, and we're gonna use only HTML and CSS. All right, so let's start coding. Alright, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any tag that you want. And so right now we have two files, HTML and CSS. So I'm going to start off by writing HTML first. And I'm going to open first, I'm going to open a file with the live server. So you can do, so this one, when anything that changed into HTML, it's going to reload to our browser. And you can install that by doing go to extension live server right here. All right, so I'm going to generate a boilerplate from here. And then I'm going to start off. I didn't put everything into the div right here. So the div cut. And then right here, we're going to have the H3 for the title. For this, I'm gonna do the welcome back. And for this, I'm gonna give a class name for the cut. And this one is gonna be a class name of the cut titles. Next, we're gonna have the forms. That inside this form is going to have the two inputs. So it's going to be input. First input is going to be type emails and the placeholder for it is going to be email. And we have another input is going to be type password. And for this is going to be password. And I'm going to give the class name for this one to form. And for the input is going to be class name form input. So I'm going to copy and paste this one right here. And also, all right, let's see why it's not reloading. Let's do it again. So right now we have the button right here, lock in. All right, so as you can see, we have the reload right here. And for this one, I'm going to give the class name is to form button. And so as you can see, our diff, it's, uh, input right here stay on the same line. So I want to have it separate block. So I'm going to put that inside the div right here. All right. So, and lastly is we going to have the links below right here. So for that, it's going to be our upper form. It's going to have the two links. So it's going to, we don't have, do not have any links. I'm going to do this one and we're going to do the forget passwords. And the next link is going to be create a new account. Create a new account. All right, so that's looking good. And I'm gonna class name for this one. It's gonna be class cat footer. Right, so now our HTML is done. So I'm gonna link this one to the CSS. So it's gonna be style.css. All right, so now we come to our CSS. So the first thing first that I wanted to do is to change the font. So I'm going to use the Google font right here. So you can go to Google font, choose any font you like. So I'm choosing the font enter right here. So I select all the font and then I'm going to choose the import right here. So I can put it's my CSS file. So if you use the link right here, you need to put that on the HTML header uh, on the head. All right. So then I'm gonna do some reset for this one. If I'm gonna give the margins for this to zero and patent to zero and the box size things to the border box and the font family is for to, we're gonna use the inter font for this. So right now, as you can see, we have some change. So next is I'm gonna create the variables, a CSS variable that we're going to use. For the first one is going to be the primary shadow. Primary shadow. All right, so our primary shadow is a property is zero. And, and four pixels, six pixels, and minus one pixel, or GBA, uh, the zero, and opacity is one. And we're going to have the secondary shadow. For this one is for input. So secondary shadow is going to be zero pixels, 10 pixels, 15 pixels minus three pixel. And the color is going to be exactly the same for GPA. Zero, zero, one. 
All right, and also I'm going to give the background color. It's going to be primary background color, primary background. So for the primary background, it's going to be uh, XR, it's going to be 3, B, H, 2, F, G. And for the secondary, so for secondary, so this one is secondary, not second, secondary background. Is going to be F H seven one seven one. So this is going to be a red color. All right, great. So right now we have our rival. So we're going to style our cut. So I'm going to go to the body. So we want to put everything into the center. But first, we're going to give the height to 100 pH, and we're going to do display as flex. Justify contents to the center, and the align items to the center as well. All right, so that's looking good. And then we're going to start doing our cut. So for the cut, I'm going to give the, but now we can see the background color is to be blue. So right now we have this around this one, but we want to, let's say, increase the width for that. So I'm just do the max width for this one is to 450 pixels and also we're going to give the actual width is going to be a hundred percent so let's say we want let's say we want to give a hundred percent width but the we set the limit is only 400 pixels for this one and then i'm going to give some back box shadow for the box shadow we can use the primary shadow as you can see right here and then i'm going to give the patterns for this is to 20 pixels there we go all right, so right, that's it for our cut, and then we move on to our cut title. So the cut title is going to be font size is going to be two rams, three rams, two ram, and then we want to text a line, put this one into the center, and yeah, that that's it for this one. And next, we're going to style our input right here. We're going to do form input. So for the form input, I'm going to give the width to 100%. And also for the margins top, we're going to separate this one. I'm going to give it two rams for this. And let's give some space inside. So we're going to go with pattern 20 pixels and five pixels from the left and right. All right. And then I'm going to give the border to none. So we don't want to use the border. But instead, we're going to do the box shadow. So we're going to do our secondary shadow right here. All right, so that looking great. But we what we want is we want to select this one. We want to remove the outline. So the outline to be none. And I'm gonna create the font size for this is gonna be to one RAM. Also, we want we want to hover. We want to uh, see some background as well. So for that, I'm gonna do form input hover. We want to have the background color for this one. I forgot to add the 2D variable, so but we maybe do not need to do it. You can see right now when we hover on this one, we have a nice background, and I want to have the transition to 0.2s. So then when we hover, it's nice animations, a transition. Great. So our form is complete. Let's do the our button. So it's gonna be form button is. Basically, it's going to be exactly similar to the, the input. But this one, I forgot one underscore. All right, so and then we're going to give the margin for this one top to two rams. And similar pattern is 20 pixels. And zero pixels right here. All right, so we want to remove the border as well. The border to none. And I'm going to give the background color for this. It's going to be 4, F, 4, 6, E, 5. So it's going to give us like the indigo things, indigo background. And then we're going to give the color for this. And font size is going to be 1 RAM. And all right, so now it's looking really good. And I'm going to give the border radius 5 pixels. All right, and the last one is we're gonna do the cursor pointer, and also we want to hover on this one. So from button hover, 
when we went forward this one we want the letter spacing to one pixels that's good and we want to have some transition to 0 0.2 seconds right so now it's looking our form is looking good so we're moving on to the card footer for the card footer i'm going to go do the margins for this it's going to be two pixel or two ram and zero ram for the left and right we have a nice space right here and we're going to do display as flex and justify content space between so the content right here is going to separate from each other and what we want is to give the first link right here to have the tech decoration to none so we can do cut footer a first child and we can do tech decoration to none there we go and the color for this is going to be uh, blacks and we want to hover the same thing for the this one as well so for that i'm going to do cut a right here so we have we add some transition for this to 0 0.2 seconds and for the cut footer a slash hover we want to have, have a letter spacing two point let's say 0 0.5 pixels so there we go so right now we have a really nice animation all right so next is we want to add the background so as you can see we have the blue and red right here we want to do that so to do that we need to go back on the top right here for the cut so i, I believe it's right here so we're going to do the dot cut so we're going to do before before the cut right here we're going to have the content for this one is going to be null but what we want is to have the height 100 percent and the width is 100 percent as the current one and let's give it the background color of this one i'm going to be using the primary color but you not be able to see it so for that we're going to do position absolute and then we want to stay on top of this one so i'm going to position relative on the parents and as you can see right now we have this box right here but if you look closely it's not actually on top of this one so to do that we're going to do the left to, let's say we're gonna do the left zero and to top to zero All right that looking good but we want to want this one to stay under so we're gonna do that that index to minus one it stay under the main box this i'm gonna give the background to white so in order to to see the cards below that we can do just to transforms rotate this one to by the degree so right now as you can see we have it and then I'm going to add the photo radius for this is to 5 pixels. All right, so I guess that's pretty much it. So it's going to apply to similar things. So I'm going to copy this one. And then we're going to do the after. So after this one, it's just instead of 5 degree, you're going to do minus 5. And we can change the color for this. It's going to be to the secondary. All right, let's see why is that secondary background. Yeah, this, this should be, oh, I'm using the secondary background. It should be, all right, so I forgot to do this one. That's why it did not show it. All right, so right now it's looking really good. But I believe that this is not going to be responsive. Let's check it out. All right, so right now, as you can see, we have some uh, not responsive right here when we go on the small screen so to fix that we can do at let's say at the media query media query so let's say the max width for this so let's say the max width 500 pixels we want to do the cut all right let's see you can see uh it's so we're gonna give the cut dot cut before we're gonna give the width of this one to only 90 90 percent of the screens and also cut after but this one is also the 90 percent as well oops voila so right now it's it it's not we do not have a scroll bar 
but as you can see our card right here it do not in the middle of a so to do that we going to to change something in our card before and after instead of left zero we're going to do 50 percent right here and also this one is going to go 50 percent as well but we want to translate this one to uh, minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent this one as well so it's going to go back into the middle so there you go and we're going to do exactly the same things for the before as well and after I'm sorry paste right here and i'm going to copy this one i'm going to transform translate is going to be this one it should be minus five degree there we go so right now this after and before cut is in the middle if we go into the larger screen it's still in the middle as well all right so it's looking really good well, the next thing is what we wanted to do is well, let's say we want to refresh this one when we unload we should have this night animation so to do that it's going to be really simple so i'm going to have the add the keyframes for this is so let's say rotate to right so we're going to do from the transform translate i'm going to cut this one and put it right here and we're going to do two right here transform translate two and we can do just to first it's going to go into from 5de to this one and we're going to do let's say the animations name is rotate to right animation duration is going to go zero uh, i'm going to go with one second and animations field mode is forward and animation timing functions is going to be animations timing function is going to go into east there we go so you can see right now we have one so you can actually do that uh, for the other one as well so you can just copy and paste this one we're going to do rotate to the left uh, actually this one uh, actually this one is rotate to left and this one is rotate to right this one five degree and then we can just put the this one right here so i'm going to copy this entire things and put it and change this one to i think it's actually correct right now um this one right this one should be this one should go to the left rotate left there we go all right so i think that pretty much it so right now our card is complete and it is fully responsive if we go on to on the mobile screens as you can see all right so i think that pretty much it for this video and thank you for watching until the end i hope you learned something from this and so see you guys in the next video peace